All right, this is medication administration. I'm going to start by entering the medication room and performing hand hygiene. Then I am going to open the electronic medical record. I'm going to access my assigned patient's MAR or EMAR. My patient is Skylar Hansen with a date of birth of 31119XX. And I look at the chart and see if she has any allergies and she is allergic to iodine. I am going to give the 8 and 9 a.m. medications. When I look at the MAR, I can see that she is due to get a Tenolol 25 milligrams at 8 o'clock. So I'm going to pull that out of the drawer. And then I also see that she is due for hydrochlorothiazide at 9 o'clock. And so I'm going to take that out of the drawer as well. And I'm going to begin by doing um, first an assessment of the medications and are they appropriate for this patient. So a tenolol I know is a beta blocker and I know it is given for hypertension. It's also given to people who've had a heart attack or um, it can also sometimes be given for heart failure. So I look and I see that Skylar has pneumonia, angina pectoris, and hypertension. So the beta blocker or tenolol would be appropriate for this patient. I also need to do an assessment before I give this medicine. I need to check the blood pressure and the heart rate. I did that before I started my medication administration. The blood pressure was 128 over 82, and the heart rate was 76, so it is safe to give this medicine. Now I look and see the next medicine is hydrochlorothiazide. That's a diuretic or a water pill. It's given for heart failure or for hypertension. And so I see that Skylar has hypertension, so this is an appropriate medicine for Skylar. I need to do an assessment for this medicine as well. I need to check the blood pressure, which we said was 128 over 82, um, or 72, I believe. And then also we need to check the potassium, the serum potassium. I looked in the chart and I saw that the serum potassium was 4.0. And so the blood pressure and the potassium are within normal limits. It's safe to give this medicine. Then I'm going to begin my first check of the medicines. I start always with the patient name, Skylar Hansen, the name of the drug, Atenolol, the dosage, 25 milligrams, the route is oral, it's given daily at 8 a.m., and I'm looking at my package and at the MAR at the same time. And I also look at the package expiration date and make sure that the package is intact as well. And I see the expiration date is not till 2020. Then I start with my next medicine. And again, I have to start with the patient name each time. Skylar Hansen, hydrochlorothiazide. It comes in 25 milligram tablets. The dose that's ordered is 50 milligrams. I have to give two 25 milligram tablets. So I see the name of the medication on here, and I see the dose is 25 on each tablet, which is appropriate. It's given oral, which this is a pill, daily at 9 a.m. I check the expiration date, which is not until 2020, and I see the package is intact. So now I have completed my first check. Now I'm going to leave the med room and I'm going to go outside the patient's roll room with my rolling cart here with the computer. Once I am outside the patient's room, I'm going to start my second check. I already did all my checks of the assessments and the appropriateness of the medication, so I just need to check the rights of medication administration. I always start with the patient name, Skylar Hansen, a on the MAR and on the drug package, 25 milligrams, oral, today at 8 a.m. Then I move on to my next medicine. I start with the patient's name again. Skylar Hansen, hydrochlorothiazide, 50 milligrams, oral, today at 9 a.m. And I check on the chart, as I checked earlier, the date of birth, and I checked the allergies on the chart. It says the patient's allergic to iodine. I know that these medicines do not contain iodine. So now I'm going to enter the patient's room. Come in. Hi, Skylar. So come in. Hi, Skylar. Hello. How are you today? Well, I'm doing okay. All right. I am doing hand hygiene as I enter your room. Skylar, I'm here to give you your medications. I have your 8 a.m. and your 9 a.m. medicines because it's about 8.30 right now. 
Is that okay? Yes, it is. All right, so first I'm going to start by asking you to tell me your name and your date of birth. My name is Skylar Hansen, and my date of birth is 3-11-19-XX. All right, that's what it says here on your armband, and I'm scanning it. B. And I'm also looking at the MAR here, and I see it's a Skylar Hansen, 3-11-19-XX, so it matches. And I'm also asking, Skylar, are you allergic to anything? Yes, I'm allergic to iodine. Okay, and that's what your chart says as well, so that matches. And I'm not going to give you anything containing iodine today. Okay, so now I'm going to continue checking your medicines before I give them to you. So I start my check again with the patient name, Skylar Hansen, a Tanolol, 25 milligrams oral at 8 a.m. And I must scan the package. Beep. And now I check my next medicine. Remember, starting with the patient name, I have Skylar Hansen, hydrochlorothiazide, and they're 25 milligram tablets, so I'm going to give two of them to equal 50 milligrams oral at 9 a.m. And now with this, I have to scan each pill. Beep. And then it beeps again. So you see I have to scan each one. All right. And so I'm ready then to give those. My last step, though, is Skylar. I have your atenolol and your hydrochlorothiazide. Are you familiar with those medicines? Oh, I think I take those both at home. Is that my water pill? It is your water pill, and then your atenolol is that beta blocker. It's for your hypertension and your angina. Oh, yes, yes, I know those. Okay, and the hydrochlorothiazide, that's that water pill. It's going to make you go to the bathroom a lot. Right, right. Okay, I'm going to put your head up so that you can swallow your pills. They win. That's good. All right, so here there's three pills in total. Do you want to take them one at a time? One at a time or together? All together. All right, so here are the pills, and here's some water. Thank you. And did you swallow that okay? Yes, I did. Okay, and then I'm going to complete medication administration by completing my documentation. The documentation started when I scanned the medicines, and now it's completed when I complete it here on the computer. All right, Skylar, I'm going to come back and check on you within the hour. Is there anything that you need right now? I don't think so. All right, your call light is right here. If you need me, please call. Uh, would you like your head back down? Sure, just a little bit. All right, say when. Right there. All right, so we're all done now. That completes medication administration.